Okay, so following on from last week's Technique Tuesday, if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go back and recap because we're working a lead axe kick. Today we're going to work a rear axe kick, which I personally find easier, and I know the majority of people find easier, the rear axe kick, because you can drop your shoulders back easier, you can push your hips forward easier, you get a bit more momentum, so it's a stronger kick. The harder part of the rear axe kick, I think, is really dropping it forward and landing it to the front okay so tegan's going to demonstrate because she's got great flexibility she's going to show us how high that kick can go and obviously height equals more momentum as it's coming down which in turn is a stronger kick so from here she's in a boxing stance she's got her left foot forward the rear axe kick is her right leg and her knees are going to pass each other we're not doing an outside axe kick like a crescent kick the knees are going to pass each other and it's going to come down swing nice and high and that lands to the front of a nice strong kick we fire it this way because if our knees pass each other here and our partner fires a front kick at us we're protected this might hit our leg or our hip or our bum if we fire it this way we're exposed and this could in turn end up being a groin kick so we're going to protect ourselves as we fire the axe kick so guard is up elbows in she's going to drop her shoulders back slam that kick down and land it to the front Perfect, so lots of height. This time she's going to be a bit nasty. She's going to try and hit with the heel. So pull her toes all the way back. So this comes through and drop with an axe kick. If your flexibility isn't as good as Tegan's to start with, that doesn't matter. Make sure you're leaning back and you're dropping your shoulders back to encourage as much height as possible. If you lean forward when you kick, we're going to really limit the height we can get on this axe kick. And it's going to hinder your technique and the effectiveness of the kick as well. So again, we'll show us one more time. Just going to set it with a jab, just to set it off. So we jab, lean back, rear axe kick, slam it down one more time. Nice and fast and snap on that jab. One, axe kick, perfect. So she's travelling forward, she's attacking with that kick. We we'll change it now for a cross punch, so it follows. So again, it goes cross, there. I've got to be fast to prepare, because the axe kick will follow straight from there, okay? So again, don't worry about your flexibility. Just make sure your technique is correct, and you're not leaning forward.